What's up guys, Greg's back with another Bakken opening, and today I said, you know what, who cares, I kind of want to open them already instead of waiting. So I'm just going to open the last three I got, the last three Ultras I got in one whole opening. Of course he got a Ultra Chaos Garganoid, Ultra Pyrus Serpentis, and Ultra Mantanoid, which I, I really like the way this one looks. I'm probably going to open this one last, just because, actually look, look at that, it's got like the little Mantis claws and everything, even the back of it looks like a Mantis. So I guess we'll start with, uh, we'll start with the Pyrus one, why not? Alright, and um... Brawl's gonna try to get a few of these, so we're gonna do the basic battle, basically the kids version, where you just battle with the Bakugan gun without any um the deck of forty cards. But we will once the starters hit, we will get those and we will do a battle. Also, when is the sneak peek for Yu-Gi-Oh? I think it's um for Yu-Gi-Oh. I think the sneak peek for a uh, Savage Strike is um January twenty eighth, something like that. It's in the twentieth, it's late January. But we'll probably go there and do that. Uh, honestly, nothing in the set really interests me of Savage Strike except for the, the cover card, Boral Load, uh, the Synchro. I don't know the exact name, I'm sorry, but that would be a really nice one to get. I know it's really broken. I believe it, it kind of just helps push for game if I'm correct. Like, I think it gains attack or it negates stuff. It, it's, it's it's insane. Now let's get all this trash out of the way. See if I can get this out of here without hurting my soul. There we go. Alright, I guess we'll start with the cards first. And I've been looking into it, someone finally posted a video of how to start the plays. And uh, here's our two cards, Serpentis Ultra, I believe this is the character card. You put your three Bakugan to keep these three to the side. And this one goes in the main deck, which is like special ability. And he has uh, an attack like Dragonoid, Fiery Rage. Three energy to activate, plus 200B Fury. If you have no cards in your hand, plus eight damage. That is insane. I believe Drago... I think it only has three damage or five damage, but if you do the math, uh, I think there's, I think I saw a combo where someone does, you could do like 30 damage somehow, which is like two, three cards. So the Pyrus seems like they have good boost and he does five damage off the bat if you land that hit and you use two, I believe those are attack cores, which we got right here. We got the green fist and the fire fist. I believe this one's like more of a heavy hit than this one, but this one gains more B power and it's plus two damage. This is just plus six damage off the bat. So if you land this with the 5 base, and you play that with no cards in hand, that's already um, 19 damage. That's uh, basically half your opponent's deck, especially when they start with 5 cards. That's basically more than half of what's left. That is insane. I can't wait to try this one out. This is probably going to be my favorite hex score. Let's see if we can focus. Yeah. Nice. Put those down right there. And now we'll get into the Pyrus Serpentis. The Ultra. Oh, look. The mouth opens. That's cool. Does it actually... Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so you can actually open it all the way. Yeah, I thought I would say if my mouth was like that defective, like my broken ass jaw, that'd be hilarious. All right, check it out. I like the little bit of green they add. Overall, though, this one looks really nice. This one looks like it's real easy to transform. I didn't check the difficulty rating. It's a two apparently, even though it looks easier than the rest of them. So let's open this up. Of course, you got your checklist here, and I already got my diamond hydrosis, a green mantanoid. Oh, sorry, ventus mantanoid. I got my Darkest Halcore. I'm about to open my Chaos Garganoid. And this is the Pyrus Serpentis. And the one I really want to get is Trox, the green one, like the main characters. And um, I like that one. Sight, sight and I don't know if that was the red one uh, Dan had or... Yeah, I think so, with the sword and shield. I want that in red. Actually, I don't think it comes red. It's just black and blue. Maybe it's a different one, I'm thinking. But other than that, let's just try to fold this back up. And of course, we're going to need... The instruct oh, oh the upside down instructions. I'm sorry. All right, what do you do first? Fold the tailwind. Okay. Now what? Flip the head in. Why well, does this seem very simple compared to the others? I've tried to utterly fail at. Oh my god, this one's so easy. I might just play this one just because it's very easy to fold. Like this is not even a challenge. To my ass, dude. Hide. What's it? Was it the other one? Uh. <laughs> Hydros, uh, it's actually Hydros, I think I finally learned the name, is super hard. This is not a 2, guys. This is like, not even 1, it is like 0.5 to fold. This is so easy compared to the others. Honestly, Hydros is like, feels like a 5. But yeah, and of course you got the line which way to roll them. And let's see if we can get some nice rolling action here. Let me just try to fold this instruction without like, destroying it. Okay, that's not gonna happen, I'm just throwing it to the side. Throwing the little manual to the side too. Alright, let's see... Just line them up and see if we can just get a nice roll here. 
Oh, there we go. Got it. And then we got plus six attack, and if we win the battle, you basically get that nice boost. So yeah, I over actually really like this one looks. It's like a lizard almost. Of course it's the dragon eyes, but love the way it looks like the face print with the little eyes and the long neck. I really like this one. I can't wait to see the I think the Dragonoid does have an ultra, but it's not in the little booster or figure packs like this. I think it's in the the three pack box or something like that. And I know the Pegasus, I believe, comes in the starter set, the Ultra uh, or Pegatrix. So yeah. Because I know that one doesn't have a ultra form in separate packs. So I'm guessing some of them you get a certain way, which is good. Not all of them are like separated. I like that, that you get a certain one per thing. So yeah. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, we'll start. We'll do the Garganoid. Alright. People are saying this one's like really a really dope one. Just because uh, it's like a full gargoyle basically. Like it's really detailed on this one. What's the transforming rate? Three? Oh, we'll find out. All right, because apparently it feels like everything that's a three is a one, and everything that's a one is a three. Got the two fours, and so we get this figure out. Oh, oh, I can take that out. Ugh, that sound is hurting my salt. There we go. That one came up pretty easy. All right, and there. I will actually we'll save that for last. Uh, again, instructions are going to be needed to transform this shenanigans. And I'm going to leave it here onto the side ish so I can see it more when I'm doing it. The course for this is a green fist and a red shield. I believe there's also a blue shield. Let's look at the manual. And I believe this is for either Pyrus or Chaos, and they get plus 400B and plus 3 damage. That's cool. All right, we're just going to get those there for later. For our cards, we got, of course, the character card, Garganoid Ultra, 400B, 3 damage, and Blinding Glam for Chaos. Of course, I believe it's for any Chaos. It's not just for the card, of course. As you can see, it has a different Bakun on it anyways. Minus 3 damage to an enemy Bakun or plus 3 to one of yours for the cost of 3. So basically, it's a 3 for 3 or a 3 for plus 3. Basically, a minus 3 or plus 3 to you or your opponent. And actually, actually, that feels like a good card I'd really play. Awesome. Garganoid, all right. Now let's see how hard it is to transform. Actually, the B powers do line up with the ones here. People, I think... Yeah, okay. I'll just make it sure because I know... I swore someone said that it doesn't, but I know it does. Okay, these instructions are really... <sighs> Whoa, what is happening? Oh, okay. <sighs> Sorry. I believe you fold the head down and fold the tail all the way around. All right, and then you push the legs back. Maybe we're supposed to do that first. I feel like that'll be easier if I put the legs back first. All right. Of course, you bring them down. Oh, okay, you were supposed to leave them like at a thing. If not, you're gonna like break them. But who cares? Okay, so don't do what I just did. Very bad. Very bad. Okay, this is actually. A really nice transformation here. Okay, wow, this one folds up nicely. Three my ass. Again, this feels like a one. Do not believe the packaging. This was very easy compared to the other one. All right, let's see if we can get that first try. Oh, of course not. All right, let me focus that better. Hey, did you see that? that this one actually flips out perfect. And it, okay, okay, some walk can flip better than others. This one's really nice. See if we can focus. Okay, there we go. This one's all. It seems like the uh, depending on the color scheme, they always have a similar thing. Like the chaos is like a cyan blue, darker blue, and then the white. This one actually. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest ones so far, just because it flipped nicely. The wings are very detailed on the inside. If you can see that. Yeah, I think honestly, just probably the way this one's posed, like an actual gargoyle. All right, and now we'll get into our final Bakker gun, which is of course. The one I've been wanting to open the most. And that is Mantanoid. Alright, let me just get my junk here on the side into the... Yeah, there we go. Let's just see instructions. Alright. Ventus Ultra Magnon... Mag Magnanoid? What the hell? Mantanoid. And this is... Okay, let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna shut up. 
Just another reminder, guys, we are still doing you and I just lost the Mountainoid. Give me a quick second, I'm gonna pause it. Alright, we're back. I just uh, might as well take out all the cards while I was at it, because I dropped my Mountainoid. Sorry about that. And you get... Oh, we haven't gotten this one yet, I think, did we? Oh, we did. We got it on How Howcore. The little Helix there, and then the Green Fist. And this one is minus 100B and plus damage, so... I believe this is supposed to, just because that's actually that's a pretty good amount of damage. So, minus 100 though. So, I guess it can be a good and bad thing. And this is minus 3, so this is more of a trap for your opponent. That's nice. Okay. Now for the cards. Of course, we got our Mantanoid Ultras. And then Razor Claws. Oh, it actually got him on the artwork. Alright, Mantanoid Ultra, of course. 600B, but it's only 1 damage. So, basically, the stronger the bot gun, the less damage. But again, it, this is very, you can kill your opponent slowly, but win a lot of the battles, or lose battles, and then come back with the, the damage, basically. Like, I guess it's a trade-off. Alright, action card for Razor Claws, plus 2 damage. Turbo, if you have the most energy cards in play, plus 7 instead. I don't know what turbo means, but I'm guessing that's a quick effect, or maybe just apply that instead. I don't know if it's, uh, you get the plus 2 and then that. Oh no, it's that instead. Okay, so. I don't know how that, okay, I need to look up to what turbo means. I believe, um... I saw another term, which is basically a uh, cost. You discard a card. I, I forgot what it was. It started with an S. And of course, this is the character card. This one goes in your main deck. Or if you're playing the basic game, you don't worry about any of the shenanigans. All right. And here is the Mantanoid Ul Ultra. Does that come up? No, okay. Focus. I really like the way this one looks. This one actually looks really cool. All right. Oh, okay, it's got 600B right there. The claws. It's actually got the little claws right there, too. Alright, let's attempt to fold it. So, I can't see shit. Alright, like that. Like that. Claws go. Oh, this is to do exactly. I think I know how to figure this one out, actually. I, I lied. I very much lied. Oh, wait. Okay, let me let me stop trying to fiddle with that. I was trying to do it on my own, but I obviously failed miserably. Okay, how do you do how do you do the claws like that? They just they just like Okay, this one's is kind of kind of difficult. Wait, am I supposed to like do something? Am I missing something? Oh, I did. I did miss something. I was supposed to push this in all the way. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, these arms are really getting to me. Oh, you fold them inwards. Okay. If I had figured that out a bit sooner, that would have been nice. Okay. You fold the arms like this. Okay, so it's not that hard. I just, I just bad. <laughs> Come on. Alright, I think we got it. And of course, guys, we gotta roll it. We just we just got to roll it. Of course, you got your arrow. Which way to go? Alright. I like how he catches it. And then you just flip him up. You have that. The minus, though. <laughs> so, yeah. You place them out strategically, the little cores. Each player has six. Because you get two from each card. You actually have to use the ones on the card. So I'd have to use this and that. So basically you get the ones you need for the Bakugan. I believe you can mix and match. But as long as it's that. So like I can use maybe the. Pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I don't think there's actually a difference in printing number. I'm not too sure. I know the effects are different. So I believe you can pick and choose the ones you want. And still use those. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again. The game hasn't really. Well, again I got it early. It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Oh, this one's so cool. Oh my god, this has got to be one of my favorites. Of course, I'm going to love Dragonoid more. You know, the Ultra version, though, not the little ones. I prefer the Ultras just because they're a lot more appealing. The other ones are cheaper by, like, a dollar. <laughs> Again, there's a dollar difference, and you get a card and a better Bakugan. So I think, I think honestly, the smaller ones should maybe be $7 instead of 8 And these should just be 10 I would, I don't mind paying 10 for this because you get the nice figure, two cards, two cores, manuals. And yeah, I really love it. So again, hope you guys like this. This, this is a long video, but let's do a quick little recap. got to pause it. All right, guys, there you have it. I do have one of each attribute and a diamond. I thought it was a separate attribute, no lie, but it's just an alteration to the 
Bakugan color. It's like almost, I guess, I don't want to say rarer than others, but it's a nice uh, coloring. I, I don't want to say coloration, but yeah, th it's got clear pieces like the head, the feet, and the tail is clear on this one. And actually, I'm pretty surprised I didn't realize this until now. I have a Pyrus, a Aquos, a Ventus, a Chaos, and a Darkest Bakugan. That is one of each after bright. Sorry, guys. Subterra is not a thing no more. And honestly, I didn't care for it because it didn't end with the word us. I'm kidding like the others. <laughs> I, that, that's probably why they removed it. They're like, hey, wait a minute. Subterra doesn't have us at the end. We got to get rid of it. And um, I believe there's another one. It's not an attribute. Again, I think these are just like... Collect. I don't want to say collectors. That's not the right word. What is the right word for this? But uh, more eye appealing. This is the diamond. Of course, I have the diamond. The golds are. I've seen the gold uh, dinosaur on the web page. A Bakugan. It's got like gold and silver, and it looks really nice. So, my checklist. I have how many Bakugan ultras? Eleven Bakugan ultras that are out, and there's different color alterations for each. Some have more than others, of course. And then there is eight regular sized ones that are non ultras so that's a total of 19 for the first wave gotta catch them all and i have five ultras and the one i really want to get next is the humanoid looking one and of course trox but in green and i have to get it green if not i will throw a fit i'm kidding and i guess for my if i had to pick a small baka gun to use i'd use dragonoid of course even though i'll probably get the ultra and use that one but the ones that aren't the ultras that aren't here of these are fangzor i don't know if there's an ultra version of him and Pegatrix, I know, comes in the starter set, if I am correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But all these up here... Oh, I want Neelius and Darkest. Oh, I really want that. Hey, wait, Diamond? He comes Diamond? Okay. So which box can come Diamond? Maxitor? I want that in gold. That looks dope as shit. Sorry for the language. Who cares? Uh, Neelius, I want to see Diamond. Trox, I want to see Diamond. I've seen him gold. I really like it. He probably looks the best in gold. Even though he's the only one I've seen. I, I'm just... Maybe Drago, if he gets a gold form. But, like, the Ultra. That'd be really nice. But guys, tell me what you think, what you like to see, Bakugan or you go wise or uh, games. We got games. <laughs> we got a lot. I was actually, I'm staring at a GameCube, a Wii, oof, we oh wait, no, sorry, Wii is good. Wii U, oof, and I got my Switch downstairs. I wish we had a capture card. We'd do, like, be playing Smash Bros and all this other dumb shit all day and, you know, just raging and killing each other. <laughs> but not really killing each other, but, you know, like, screaming our heads off because that game is the devil. So... Hope you guys like this. Tell me, what is your favorite attribute? Uh, personally, I just love red, so I got to go with Pyrus. And if Diamond were an attribute, I'd pick Diamond. <laughs> but it's not an attribute. It's just beautiful. And, um, of course, those are all the cores I have so far. Um, it seems like I, I, the Flaming Fist isn't so common as the shields. I feel like maybe it depends which color you get. I feel like red's more power. Maybe this is defensive. This is, I just feel like everything's almost different. I don't know if they designed them like that. They're all going to be different in a way. I don't know if all the cards are going to be the same. I know they're the same cards like that one that negates uh, action card. They I've seen a uh, Pyrus and Aquas have that. And I believe a Ventus from the Tourney deck profile. Or just people opening packs that got them early. Lucky bastards. I wish I had the packs. I would have spent about 100 bucks right now on packs. And of course I would have bought the starter real quick. That's what I want to get really badly is a starter set. <laughs> So, sorry I've been rattling on for so long. This is much longer than expected, but tell us what you'd like to see. I'm going to try to get that Dustin deck profile for you guys, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, why'd you prank it there? I remember your name. Okay. And um, other deck profiles that I I don't think I, I have anything else that I can do besides that. Actually, maybe just let, let me know because maybe there's a deck that's forgotten in my bulk somewhere. I never made Magnet Warriors and I always wanted to because I had Doki Doki, Sentry of uh, Stone, just a rock deck basically. And that's enough of that. And when this game actually launches, I want to actually try to make a really competitive deck and make, maybe make a deck profile. Or, I don't know if they'll have tourneys. They're going to have tourneys of this, but of course they're going to be far out. I don't know if like maybe if locals will start picking Bakugan up and like actually having tourneys and giving out packs. That'd be really insane. Or maybe Bakugan product like that. Imagine they won't just give out packs. They'd give out figures, like just packs of that. Now that'd be really cool. So hope you guys like this. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos.